All right, here we are at OB. Instead, I'd do it. Here I am. Sorry, it took me an extra minute. So, me and two buddies when we were kids, playing down here between the age of 10 and 12. So I'm going to say I was about 11. Goofing around on this rock base and brushed some weeds aside, and there was a little hole, a room inside. A brick room with brick columns. We went home, we got some lighters. That's right, kids in the 80s had lighters. We also went to the store to get our parents' cigarettes. You could ride in the back of a pickup truck. Yeah, it was a whole different world. So anyways, I don't get splattered. That's what kids did when I was little. They went outside and play and stuff like that. So we uh, put some weeds aside and we seen this hole. And Stuck our head in and sure enough at the brick room. We're going exploring. Go get more lighters. Come back. So, uh, got more lighters and came back. Now this hole you could stick one arm through with the lighter and then your head and you wriggle your body through it like a worm and you were in a gigantic red brick room with four big massive columns. Uh, Anybody in the city is watching this, you might want to take note. We're right under the old hospital. Now, the way this worked, there was no way out. It was bricked up and sealed off from the inside. And I'm assuming when they punctured this hill, the hospital sealed off that room or entire, the, the entire sub-basement. But everything was a, it was a, a room with four walls and no door. However, the back of the room was underwater. And we figured there was a doorway back there bricked up. But we never made it go investigate. Alright, where's that hole at? Right here somewhere. I will find it. And anybody looking at this is going to say, Ah, just a rock face. That's normal. Nope, I brought a bottle of water with me. I'm going to show you the color change. There's a chemical difference. Boy, where was it? Right there. I don't even need to put water on to show the difference. That's concrete. Right behind this white concrete is a huge red brick room with massive red brick columns. And there's never been an opening here other than that. And obviously, I'm assuming when it fell out or broke off or when they were cutting this out, that's when they sealed that room off. But there was no way in from the left to right or the back. It was all bricked off. And there was definitely no way in from this side at all. But whatever it did, it connected under the hospital. I'm going to say there's a whole sub basement under there. Now when you guys get a back over right back over here, what the city does, should I say. And once that city uh, brings a back hoe in here in the, the trucks, there's a real good chance they're going to go straight to hell. of it I don't remember how big the room was there's enough room there for two basements but I remember the ceiling being high but I was a little kid too yep right there there is a massive red brick room there was never a door or anything on this side this is all solid bedrock that was cut into the bedrock from the other side now, I know there's a mine shaft half a mile down there behind a the paper company, but I just don't see them. It's a whole different structure. It's different construction. It's block and concrete. Well, this was all red block. And if you think red block isn't that old, you know, they started making red block right here in Virginia. Before it was West Virginia. No, I'm not sure where. It was in Virginia, but it was in 1610. The first block factory went up in America right here in Virginia. 1610. And that's it. There's a massive room in there. Massive. Crazy as it sounds. And there's more than just that room because there's no way out from this side. There never was. That's part of that old hospital's basement. Guarantee it. It doesn't go anywhere else. Huge brick room. I've been in plenty of mine shafts around here. Heck, I could take a tour of a mine shaft that busted up and down on the hill on Fulton. You can actually go down and walk it about a quarter mile into a separate shaft and down to a little room. There's nothing but just coal walls and rock ceiling and chip rock floor. But, uh, there you have it. 
anybody else remembers this, if you were around, the kid in the 80s, probably, maybe before that. But they bricked it off in the early 80s. Well, not bricked it off, but they uh, they concreted it over. Now, a funny story is, we told a couple other kids about it. My buddy's ended up moving away. It kind of sucks, but uh, we told a few people about it before I, too, moved away. And uh, the kid had come down here decided he was going to run away from home. And hide in there and have his buddies bring sandwiches from their uh, the school lunch. He was done. And how long it lasted? <laughs> about 20 minutes. You would slide down a ramp when you were in there, like a ramp dirt and debris from that hole. Belly first, and you could stand up. There was a pretty good ramp there. But right in front of you was uh, water, probably. Down ankle deep, I guess. We didn't go out into it. We were trying to hold our lighters and uh, look out over it. We never made it back down here to try to chip it the way of the wall, see where it went in the back. Probably a good thing to be dead in there somewhere. If somebody remembers that, comment. Are you in there? Do you remember what it looked like? I'd love to see it again. Now, the more I'm looking at it, it looks like there's a gap at the top that might go up over and in. And what I need is one of those, uh, I think it's called a snake cam. Fits through a pinhole on a cord, like a long piece of wire with a camera at the end. So I'm going down and wheeling. But I think I could possibly get up and over the crack in the top and look inside of the room. If anybody's got one of those uh, snake cams laying around, you don't want? You know, using the USB one, like the USB snake webcam. I see them all the time on eBay for like seven, eight bucks. Never gotten one. I wish I would have now. And that little box hole there might even go to more rooms in there. It might be a drain. I don't know. But there are definitely rooms under this bedrock. One for sure. And like I said, there's got to be more. It didn't grow there and it didn't come from the outside. I need a snake cam. I see a round hole. I see a square hole. A ledge over there. I'd love to start jamming a camera to so find that room. I haven't seen it in decades. Decades.